Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to The Discriminating Gamer. Say, why did Aquaman join DC instead of Marvel? He was hydrophobic. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at Marvel Zombies Hydra Resurrection from Come On. We'll get back to the review in just a moment. I want to take a minute to ask you to check out my other channel, that is Cody Carlson PhD, where we talk about history, books on history, military history. I even post some of my uh, lectures for my classes on there. Please check that out. Please subscribe to that channel. And now, back to the review. In Marvel Zombies Hydra Resurrection from Come On, one to six players take on the roles of various superheroes or zombie heroes as they attempt to do battle, devour, cause mayhem, save the world. Uh, but either way, they're going to battle the Red Skull. Now, this game expansion comes with 25 new pieces. First of all, you have four new superheroes. You have Black Widow, Vision, Ant-Man, and She-Hulk. You also have four new zombie heroes, Quicksilver, Falcon, Loki, and Hawkeye. You have two new bystanders, Maria Hill and Nick Fury. And then you have 15 special enemies. You have 14 Hydra soldiers in two different sculpts. And then, of course, you have that big baddie himself, Red Skull. The expansion also comes with some new tokens and cards. More on that later. Now, this expansion, of course, can be integrated into your Marvel Zombies game. You can either play it with the zombie mode with the core uh, Marvel Zombies game, or you can play it in hero mode with the X-Men Resistance uh, core box. But you'll need one of those core boxes to play in one of those modes. You'll need both core boxes to play it in both of those modes. Now, you have large rooms here, meaning there's a lot of these... Uh, uh, scenarios which take place indoors. So you have kind of like the larger rooms, which is they're kind of like outside locations. And then you have inner rooms, which of course you uh, go into and they spawn just like uh, buildings do in standard zombie side games. As I say, there's some new tokens. You have canister tokens. Now these are uh, face down canisters and you can move them, but you can also shoot them and you can throw them and they explode. And if they explode, you roll a die on, I think it's a roll of one to two, nothing happens, anything else, they explode, and they kill any actor in the uh, space where that explodes. So one of the big new concepts here are the Hydra soldiers. They more or less act like walkers, right? They activate once, they've got a toughness of one, they grant one experience point, but they've got an important difference, and that is they've got guns, and they've got a range of one. So essentially, if they are adjacent to you, they can attack you. So they're very dangerous this way. You want to get them off the board as soon as possible because they will cause problems from a distance. Now, the Hydra soldiers also have an important factor. They always come last in targeting priority, which means you may not be able to take them out as quickly as you would like. Now, Red Skull is the big baddie of this expansion. Now, there are certain scenarios that are specifically kind of geared toward Red Skull. You can play, I believe, in Hero or... Uh, zombie mode, but you, 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 they're, they're kind of Red Skull specific expansions. Now you can just play with Red Skull as a, 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 a villain if you want, just a regular baddie. But if you play these Red Skull scenarios, he has some special um, attributes. Now, for instance, <clears throat> he always comes last in targeting order, meaning even if he's with Hydra soldiers, you got to take the Hydra soldiers out before you can take him out. Now that's different because usually when the big baddies come out, the zombie heroes or, or, or uh, superheroes, 
they come first in targeting priority. He comes last in targeting priority. But what's more is he also um, can fire from one uh, space away. He's got a range of one, which makes him particularly deadly, like his Hydra minions. But critically, too, he has a Hydra deck. And so whenever he is on the board, you're going to draw a Hydra card. And when you draw one of these cards, uh, something bad and nasty is going to happen to you and your friends. It may uh, empower him in certain ways. It may do some other things that are going on. But they, they're they just nasty. And critically, too, when he spawns, he always spawns with a couple of Hydra troopers with him. Now, this expansion is pretty cool in that I think you've got four... Uh, Red Skull missions, you've got four regular hero missions, and you've got four zombie missions. So there's a lot of good scenario content in this expansion as well. So that's basically what you get with this expansion. Of course, you get these great new characters, and you get these kooky Hydra soldiers, and this uh, pretty freaky Red Skull character who can come out in, in his specific missions. He can be very, very powerful and very, very dangerous. Um, so I played through this a couple of times in both... Um, zombie mode and in hero mode and and those red skull missions uh and i gotta tell you this one is tough this is one of the tougher ones i played it's it's tough but it's beatable but uh red skull is a menace he is uh dangerous and he's scary and when those those hydro troopers start spawning they're dangerous and they're scary and you got to watch them he's not impossible to take out and sometimes you can take him out um you can get lucky you can pull him out early and you can take him out but like you know, the one Red Skull mission I was playing, it was like you, you had to take, there were all these objectives over the board, and you, he, he doesn't have permadeath until you take out all of these things. So essentially you could beat him, but then he would just go back to the first spawn point. So he was always coming at you until you took out all of these objectives, and it was tough. I didn't, I didn't win that one. So he's a dangerous, dangerous dude here. But again, uh, just looking at, at the content, meaning the, 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 the figures and the cards and the characters that you get with this, they're awesome. Sam, uh, Sam Jackson, Nick Fury has, has a great ability um, in hero mode that I really like. He can, I think it's just give someone else a power and an extra action. And I mean, there's just some, there's some really cool abilities here. I think Maria Hill gets to take out Brutes. So uh, some, some cool abilities, but the characters themselves are awesome. And I got to tell you, some absolutely beautiful sculpts here, particularly, in fact, as a set, this might be my favorite um, sculpt, mini sculpts of them all. I thought uh, Falcon is just gorgeous. That is a beautiful mini. Hawkeye is great. Loki, Loki standing on that skull. He's got this like skull he stands on, and it's so good looking. But Ant Man, I mean Ant Man is freaking. He's riding an ant. It is very cool. Um, I think Vision looks awesome here as well. So across the board, these are some great, great characters. I really enjoy this uh, this expansion. Between the characters that you get and these new missions that you get, and all the, the all the scenarios that you get here, uh, the twelve new scenarios that are very different. Um, I think this one is an absolute winner. It's just a lot of fun. Recommendation for the discriminating gamer for Marvel Zombies Hydra Re uh, Resurrection is buy it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for joining us today on The Discriminating Gamer. As always, we ask you to please leave a comment for us here on YouTube, on Board Game Geek, on our Facebook page, or on thediscriminatinggamer.com. We ask you to please like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. And I'd ask you to check out my other channel, that is Cody Carlson PhD, where we talk about military history, books on history, fun things like that. I even post some of my lectures on that channel. So please uh, check out that channel and subscribe to that channel. It would mean a lot to me. We'd also ask you to please leave a thumb to this video on Board Game Geek. And if you are a big fan of the channel, you like the content we bring you here, I'd ask you to humbly click on the Super Thanks button and leave a contribution. Let me ask you a question. How much did it cost Hydra to kill Tony Stark's parents? One buck. world is ending and all I can think about is abominations destroying our doors. Found a boomstick, it needs ammunition, baby. Let's destroy the zombies before they start to hoard. There's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. It's freaking zombie side.
multiplying, the zombies are coming, baby. I hear them moaning from their hungry jaws. They got the numbers, we got the equipment, baby. Talking about machetes and some battle chainsaws. Nowhere to run, there's nowhere to hide. It's freaking zombie side. There's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. It's freaking zombie side.